Hey guys, welcome back to another series of dual analysis. And today we are submission by Tasty X3. I guess it's just tasty, tasty, tasty. And it's a battle between a pendulum magician and melodicious. Yeah, you won't get to see much play from the melodicious because they they didn't play much actually. Yeah. So uh in this replay we'll actually focus more on the pendulum magician deck and how best to utilize some of the plays uh uh from tasty. Yeah, even though he won the game, but there's a lot of uh, I'll say misplay and or things that can be done better to uh, make sure that you have a cleaner board or cleaner hand. Yeah, so uh, be before I start, do remember to drop me a subscribe, like, and comment down in the video below if you're enjoying the content so far. I'm a uh, 600 subscriber right now. I'm really uh, really glad that everyone is uh, subscribing and uh, I'm just 400 away from my 1000 milestone so thanks again for everyone's support so without further ado let's jump right straight into the duel I mean sometimes since I see Melodicious deck though but mm, it's some kind of a deck that prevents you from being from destroying it if I remember correctly <laughs> okay uh, not much from his side so Let's just move on to the pen, uh, tasty side. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so usually uh, with Wisdom Eye and Pendulum Core in hand, I'll actually activate Pendulum Core to, to discard Wisdom Eye Magician usually because these two, like what I mentioned in the previous video, they don't go well together. But in this case, I see that I uh, he has actually a Pendulum Sorcerer here. So actually, I'll make use of his effect uh, and set my pendulum core so that I can destroy one card on the field instead of uh, two, two pendulum scale la. so what I'll do in this case is I'll set wisdom eye and celestial and break this for old dragon which I think he did that yep so yeah so this is the first thing that uh, first mistake that I identify is there's no point in activating old dragon effect to take back wisdom eye because this card is a hard once per turn and if you activate it now at the later time later part of the uh, turn right you won't be able to uh, use it effect just uh, it, if you happen to have it on the still have it on the field because uh, leaving this thing in the extra deck and then on the or on the hand it's it has no uh, it has no difference because you will be able to uh, pendulum summon out from the extra deck anyway so sh you should not have activated the old dragon effect just leave it in the extra deck and maybe uh, you can get it back uh, at a later later part of the turn yeah so yeah so that's the first thing that I noticed and second before I pendulum summon I'll actually just set my pendulum core like what I mentioned just now so that your performance sorcerer can actually destroy the pendulum core and celestial I'll keep Oath Dragon uh, in my uh, in the skill because it can take take back some cards lah. yeah so this is what I think so let's see yeah so as you can see if he pendulum summon right now uh, his pendulum saucer will not will need to destroy both of his skill yeah which can be can be avoided if you set a pendulum core which you get to keep one of the skill lah. because this card is totally useless now you can't even activate it now yeah. I'll actually I'll actually keep Ash Blossom in hand. Uh, but if let's say you already know that he has no maxi, actually it's pretty easy to know. Once you activate a card, let's say you activate your skill, if, if the opponent has a respawn delay, right, it means that it most probably has a maxi or some kind of generic card that can activate regardless of the condition uh, on the field. Yeah, which most probably is maxi or maybe Numeron War, but uh we are pretty sure he's not playing New Maron, and Maxi is one of uh one of them, yeah. And okay, maybe his trap has something, but um, it really has to see the gameplay, uh, the actual gameplay, to see the uh, what kind of uh, response uh, they have, yeah. Okay, so I'll add back to special summon. Okay, pretty standard, pretty standard. Yeah, we we'll get our electromite. Okay, electromite. Okay. Yeah. Actually in this case I'll get back uh, Wisdom Eye because uh, I want to pop a uh, double iris so that I can get my trap out. So I'll normal I'll normal summon this, I'll get Wisdom Eye, set uh, Wisdom Eye and Celestia maybe. 
than a pop wisdom eye for double iris then you use electromagnetic effect to destroy double iris to get back extra graph which will then chain a uh, uh, Electromite, then double iris to search and astrograph to come out and astrograph will be able to search wisdom eye because you just destroy it yeah because this card if you read this card itself it it doesn't have any really strong effects yeah you, you can just keep it on the field it doesn't has any negation or what yeah so you don't really have to always always prioritize like destroying cards but more to take note what are the cards that uh, opponent has and if it's a, some sort of thing that can disrupt your play then i'll say try to destroy it but cards like this doesn't really affect your gameplay so uh, we we don't think i will destroy this at at all actually yeah so yeah in this case i think we pop purple poison to try to pop the spell to draw one pop one and then astrograph itself will come up to add back another purple poison Nothing much, nothing much. Yeah, so far so good. Okay. Okay, actually I have no idea what this why this guy actually like negate this guy. This guy has no Astro Guard has no effect anymore. Yeah. And yeah, I think okay, this is another thing that I can think can be improved. So to get out uh Harley Free Bucks, he uses harmonizing together with uh let me see, with Electromite. But in this case, actually it will be better if you just use uh, your Ash Blossom instead. Because Ash Blossom doesn't go well with that. It's not a Magician, it's not a Pendulum card. So you can't use it for any other purposes. So in this case, I'll actually link it with uh, Ash Blossom with Electromite to come out Hardy Free Bucks instead. So just in case you need uh, another tuner or another thing that can use for your uh, Synchro Summon. Let's see what other level 8 you have. Yeah, so that's like, you still have clear wing, uh, maybe if you need it for some reason, or you can, yeah, that's the only one. But it's still something that you can use. With harmonizing on the field, you can even get out your uh, starving banner as well. So, But with Ash Blossom, there's nothing you can do with it. So if you actually pendulum summon an uh, Ash Blossom, it's best used as a material for Harley Free Bucks, because there's no other use for it. Yeah, so just take note of this. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I uh yeah. So after that is just the really standard, uh, standard uh I would say S uh, SS code talker play. So see we have a uh, Ash Boston standing here that's unable to do anything. Okay. Yeah. So okay, another thing is if you realize he doesn't have enough uh token to use Serling's effect. Serling requires three. So usually what I do is I'll look around the look around the field before before I get out Celine. I'll check his graveyard. Okay, the graveyard has one spell. Then there's no spell in my uh, graveyard. There's no spell on his field. There's one equip card on my field. So actually I have there's already two spell. So I need to have at, at least one more spell uh, on the field to at least get Celine to have three counter. So in this so before I come out I'll actually set one of this skill on the pendulum skill since pendulum skill is counted as a spell. So if I have set a pendulum skill just now, I can I could have actually summoned a Serlin with three counters. So yeah, before you summon Serlin, do take note of the spell uh, number of spell in the graveyard or on the field. It applies to both player. So uh, take note of this. Yeah, if not, I can uh, if we follow my case just now, I will have left with harmonizing and maybe black wing uh, black fang here, and I will use Serlin to revive my tuning magician. Yeah. So uh, this is some plays that uh, we can take note lah, if we uh, if we play um, uh, how we suggested in the in the first place, yeah, we have uh, maybe more resources on hand, yeah, and even having a time pendulum graph, yeah, yeah. So uh, access code no nothing much. So we can destroy two. Okay, so my problem here is okay. Let's let's just let him resolve. Okay, destroying the monster is standard, you just need to get rid of it. Then the next thing is, because there's two set trap here, you can see that this trap has a smoky effect to it. Smoky means that it can be activated uh, that turn. So uh, I'll actually destroy this, this card first, because this card is basically useless, he can't activate it uh, that turn. Yeah, and I know this card is, uh, I think it's called Lost Wind, let me take a look. Yeah, it's called Lost Wind, because it was just set onto the field uh, this turn. 
So actually there's no point destroying uh, this card because it can't be activated this turn anyway and uh, as you can see I'm already going uh, Tasty is already going for the win so destroying this card is pointless you should destroy a card that can be activated this turn yeah so yeah in this case you destroy the set card which isn't that useful so imagine if you didn't if you didn't destroy this and you don't really have a negate or maybe there's something else on its hand and you negated it already with one mirror force your fuel will be your fuel will be gone yeah so when choosing things to destroy just think about what are the cards that's already been set and can they be activated that turn yeah so uh, something very dangerous if let's say uh, it wasn't uh, there wasn't a negation on the field your board the board would have been cleared lah. yeah but nonetheless there's a borrow load there to save the day yeah so this borrow load uh, could have been saved just in case the card in his hand is something that's dangerous yeah uh overall i would say it's uh it's still a good duo manage to get out your access code together with uh, destroying cl clearing his field coming off a negation just in case yeah it's a it's a good ending but this is usually what we want to end uh, with as well so uh, yeah just a just a quick summary from what I can remember uh, set your pendulum core if you can't use it so that it can be destroyed by either an electromite effect or a pendulum sorcerer effect or just leave it leave it there. Uh, just to trick opponent into thinking that it's a trap, yeah. Then uh, try to use away your Ash Blossom as a link material for Harley Free Bucks. So so it uh because it really is pretty useless on the field unless you have a level five monster that can uh synchro with it to become a level eight. But I see yeah, there's only a Stargazer in the uh on in his deck, yeah. Then, uh, thirdly, when coming out with Selene, uh, take note that if you don't have enough spell, just activate a few more pendulum skill so that you can get three spell counter, uh, in your hand, yeah. And uh, yeah, lastly, the uh, old dragon effect. Don't use it if there's um, I mean, you don't don't use it uh, just to take back stuff from the extra deck without a good reason. Like just now, you could have actually just pendulum summon. It doesn't matter if it's pendulum summon from the extra deck or from the hand. So leave the effect there for a while and keep it, uh, keep it lah, just in case you need it at a later turn, yeah. So um, that's uh oh yeah. Lastly, the if there's if the cards on the field on opponent side of the field is not threatening, don't worry about destroying it, especially if you're going for the kill, unless it's a card that has that had that is quite useful during their turn again. But if you're going for the kill, I would say most of the time we can leave the cards there, yeah. So uh yeah basically that's it. Hope uh hopefully everyone learns something. So if you are interested in submitting your uh duo for a duo analysis, uh do check out the link in the description below and then you can submit it there. Yeah. And if you're enjoying the content so far, do remember to like, subscribe and comment down below on what you think um might could have done better or maybe some of the things that I mentioned doesn't make sense or maybe the thinking process of the player is different from what I think. Yeah. So, um, I guess that's it. I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Right. Bye bye.